In this question, we're asked to find dy by dx. And in this particular case, I'm going to use the quotient rule. And I've written the quotient rule over here on the right hand side, just as a little reminder. Now, the first thing I want to do is define u and v. So we'll say let u, and that will be the numerator. So that'll be x squared plus 4x plus 3. I know I have to differentiate that, so du by dx. Differentiating x squared, we get 2x. Differentiating 4x, we'll get 4. And obviously differentiating 3 will give us a 0 there. Now we've let u equal that. We also need to let v equal the denominator, which is root x. Now root x, I'm going to write as x to the power of a half. Differentiating that, dv by dx. So we write down the power and then reduce the power by one. So that's to the negative a half. And we can actually rewrite that as one over two x to the power of a half. Okay, so we've got the u and v terms, we've differentiated. Now we can plug this into the quotient rule. So dy by dx is equal to v times du dx. So these two multiplied. So we're going to get v, which is x to the power of a half. And that's going to be multiplied by 2x plus 4. Now we're going to subtract u times dv by dx. So this multiplied by this. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 3, that's in brackets, and that's over, well, 1 over 2x to the power of half, so we're multiplying by that, so that'll simply be 2x to the power of a half here. Now that whole thing is over v squared, which is x to the power of a half squared, so that'll simply be x. Now we can do some tidying up. Now the first thing I want to do is to get this same denominator in this section here. So if that was over one, what I'd need to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by two x to the power of a half. So I get a common denominator there. So I'm multiplying the numerator by two x to the power of a half. I will have the two x to the power of a half multiplied by x to the power of a half. If you recall, we add the powers. So that'll just give me a 2x. And then I've got 2x plus 4. Minus, I've got this bracket here. So that'll be minus x squared plus 4x plus 3. That's in brackets. Now that whole thing is over 2x to the power of a half. And all of that itself is over x. Now carrying on with this, let's do some simplifying here. Well, if I expand these brackets here, I'll have 4x squared. Then I'll have a 8x. I'll have negative x squared with that second bracket, minus 4x, minus 3. That whole thing is over 2x to the power of a half, which is all over x. And we can cancel some terms here. We've got 4x squared minus x squared, so we've got 3x squared. 8x minus 4x, that's going to be plus 4x. We've got minus 3. Now let's deal with these two here. So what I'm doing, I'm taking this fraction and dividing it by x. So just for example, let's just uh, take this little fraction here. If that was just a over b, and then we're going to divide that by x or x over 1. Now when you're dividing, what you can do is flip the second fraction and change it to a multiplication. So what's going to happen is we're going to multiply the denominator by x. So this denominator here is going to be multiplied by x. 
And when we multiply these, we just add the powers. Well, I've got a 1 here and a half here. So that will be 2x to the 3 over 2. So 2x to the power of 3 over 2. Now, if you found that video useful, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.